Hello, my name is Micah Lanasa, and I'm a technical writer for Active Directory Rights Management Services. Today I'm going to show you a couple new features in Microsoft Exchange 2010 that utilize ADRMS. Specifically, we will look at Outlook protection rules and using ADRMS in Outlook Web Access. First, I'll show you my server running Exchange 2010. You can see that the Exchange Management shell is open, and you can see that I have created an Outlook protection rule. An Outlook protection rule is a rule that automatically protects an email message that will be sent to specific recipients. Here, I have created a new rule that I have named Finance Director, which protects messages sent to Nicole Holiday, whose email address is nholiday at cpandell.com, with the Do Not Forward template. You can create multiple rules that protect email messages to individual users or to members of an Active Directory group. You can also use other rights policy templates that you have created in your organization. Outlook protection rules are created and managed using the Exchange Management shell rather than the Exchange Management console. All right, let's head to the client computer to see this rule in action. I'll log on to the client computer as Stuart Railson, who is a user in the CP and Dell domain. I'll open up Microsoft Outlook 2010. To take advantage of Outlook protection rules, clients must be using Outlook 2010. I'll click New to create a new mail message. I'll address it to Nicole Holiday, and then I'll type a subject. Notice that the Do Not Forward protection is automatically applied to the message. The user does not have to do anything. Protection is triggered based on the recipient of the message. If I had attached a Microsoft Office document, the document would inherit the ADRMS protection. You can configure Outlook protection rules to either recommend or enforce ADRMS protection. The difference between these two options is that if ADRMS protection is recommended, the user can alter the protection by choosing a different template or deciding to not protect the message at all. Alternately, the rule can enforce protection, whereupon the user cannot change it. I'll send this message and we'll head to a different client computer to demonstrate the new ADRMS features in Outlook Web Access. I'll log on to this client computer as Nicole Holiday. In Exchange 2010, ADRMS is natively supported in Outlook Web Access. You can create and consume protected mail messages without having to install a plugin. Additionally, these features are available to users running non-Microsoft Internet browsers and operating systems. To demonstrate this capability, I'm logging into OWA using a Mozilla Firefox browser. Notice that I can see the protected message from Stuart. I'll open that message now. I can see from the banner that this message has been protected with the Do Not Forward Protection Policy. I can easily verify the message's protection by observing that the forward option is unavailable. Notice that I was able to open the protected message without having to install a plugin or configure any settings. Alright, I've just shown you how you can use the new Exchange 2010 Outlook protection rules and native ADRMS support in Outlook Web Access to streamline the protection and consumption of sensitive information in your environment. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful.